Hey everybody, Autobot John here with my newest custom repaint. This is a repaint from the Hot Toys Ripley. And here we go, starting in with the boots, I darkened them, added dirt, scuffed up the pants. And as you can see, they have dirt on them. I don't know what that thing is right there, but it's cool and it's supposed to go on her. The motion tracker. Sweat on the arms. The shirt has been cut at the neck to a lower top. Uh, movie accurate paint job on the shirt. Dyed the shirt and then actually took uh, oil and put oil on the shirt to make it look like sweat. Added a flame to the flamethrower, as you can see. Added all her canisters she's supposed to have. And then repainted the entire face. Added sculpty to make the head the way it's supposed to be. Added uh, vegetable oil for sweat re-sculpted and added new hair made the hair longer uh, a little bit thicker on top and on the sides because I thought the Hot Toys one was a little there was not enough hair on it um, darkened the hair because the Hot Toys one was originally brown and then on the side gave her her little uh, cut from the movie and then to go along with this figure out of Sculpty I sculpted this an alien egg with the face hugger coming out of it and as you can see it's made of clay going up top You can actually see the egg sacs on the back as it's coming out of the egg. And actually took and used vegetable oil to make the egg look like it was wet and slimy. But yeah, there is my Hot Toys repaint Ellen Ripley from Aliens. All I need now is the uh, a queen alien, which I am going to make a custom queen alien out of a bunch of hot toy alien parts and re-sculpt the, the head, you know, as the queen alien. And what I'm planning to do is actually find somebody to make a newt head for me and make newt. And I'm going to take some cardboard and actually make the entire scene that's going to be her standing in the hive and I'm going to make some more eggs some that are on fire to, to represent the scene where she burns the eggs in front of the queen alien. When I'm done, the queen alien I'm hoping will stand at least 24 to 26 inches high. But I'll probably have it sitting down with the egg sack and everything. But I'm a big aliens fan and that'll be pretty cool to do. But uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, uh, subscribe to my uh, I guess my work my page if you will um, if you have any ideas give me any ideas that you guys have and I'll see if I can do them anybody wants any repaints done or any modifications done let me know and we'll see what we can do and also um, I'm looking for an, uh, a Ripley head guys so I can get to work on my Alien 3 Ripley custom um, to go along with this guy right here which is my custom Hot Toys repaint Alien, the dog alien from Alien 3 and added vegetable oil to his mouth to make him look more slimy and shiny looking. But yeah, I'd love a Ripley to go with this guy, so uh, help me out. If you can afford and you don't mind, I'm, I definitely need another Ripley head. Not a body, 
but just the head. Although, if you can sell the entire figure, I'd love to have the figure too because I'm pretty sure I could use the body for something else. Um, and I know most people don't like to just get rid of the, the heads. So, anyway, this is Autobot John saying uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy my work. And uh, keep uh, leaving me feedback so I know if I'm doing good or not, guys.